Hello travelers, as you may be aware, on July 9, Last Epoch will begin its first pot launch cycle. We have a huge update and amazing news. Since it has been too long since the first cycle release, I must admit that I was a little worried about the new cycle in Last Epoch. Diablo 4 Season 4 was a success and PoE 2 will be out soon, but Last Epoch holds a special place in my heart and I really like what I have been seeing from the upcoming Cycle 1.1. In this video I'll go over the most important guidelines from the latest updates and everything you need to know to get ready for the upcoming Last Epoch Cycle. Let's get right to the harbingers of rule new features, starting with the brand new evade mechanic. A much desired feature, an avoidance or dodge roll mechanic will soon be available for all classes and transformations. Evade provides a fast short distance movement allowing players to quickly avoid many powerful attacks. Evade is a level 1 ability that is available to all characters and a baseline charge of 2. Evade's cooldown recover speed will rise in tandem with your carrot level. As a result you can avoid situation more frequently as your character gains strength. It is crucial to remember that Evade does not not provide any frames of immunity. It lets you more easily avoid enemy attacks, but you are still vulnerable to damage. If you evade but are still inside an attack area, you will still take the damage. Evade wouldn't simplify by replacing Traversal's abilities in general. As a result, Evade won't have a skill tree or be put in the skill bar space. However, you can still modify its keybind. Let's go to Nemesis now. During Harbingers of Rune, we'll come across a new random encounter mechanic called Nemesis. You might randomly run up on this new kind of encounter when exploring Terra for the campaign and Monolith of Fate, the Nemesis. You will be provided with the opportunity to add more loot to your horde upon interacting with the remnants, a pop-up displaying several items available from the Nemesis, as well as three options on what you would like to do in regard to the items, increasing the quality of reward as well as the power of the Nemesis holding them. Once an empowered Nemesis has been banished or defeated after challenging it, the next Nemesis encounter will start over as an empowered with new items. Nemesis can also be found with a special reward type. An Egg of the Forgotten is a unique reward kind that Nemesis can also be found with it. Finally, we arrive at the centerpiece of the next Pinnacle Boss system, which will launch on July 9. To gain access to the new Pinnacle Boss, you will first need to challenge and defeat the Harpingas. These are new bosses which can be found deep within the Monolith of Fate. As you progress corruption in different timelines, you will be able to encounter new Harbingers to progress your ranks within the Forgotten Knights faction and get closer to the challenge their leader. Harbingers can be found in two variants, Agile and Brute. Beyond having greatly different combat styles, the Harbingers also gain abilities from the timeline boss, bringing unique consideration into each of the 10 timelines. You will need to defeat the Harbingers in each of 10 timelines before being able to access the portal to the most difficult fight in the last epoch today. You will also have a chance to harvest an eye from the Harbinger upon defeating them, which you will use as a currency to access the Pinnacle boss fight. After defeating the first Harbinger, you will begin your journey with the Forgotten Knights faction. The Forgotten Knight faction is a new faction available in New Cycle 1-1. Rather than being a separate option, this faction will be accessible to players of Circle of Fortune as well as Merkinson's Guild. Gaining rank with the Forgotten Knights will provide special rank reward advantages, just like with other factions. This benefit includes increasing harbing in new drop chance, luckily blessing rolls, and even an increased chance to drop a new crafting material, the Glyph of Envy. Please take a note, Aberrat will only be able to be challenged in the online cycle. This allows an opportunity for this new Pinnacle fight to be experienced and learned through natural progression rather than instantly solved by characters outfitted in the very best gear. Once the boss has been defeated in the cycle, Aberrat will be made available to both Legacy and all offline modes within the next business day. Now let's talk about bosses defenses. New cycle are replacing boss dynamic damage reduction with a boss ward system. With this new system, as a boss reach breakpoints will gain a burst of ward then then decays over time. The longer the ward is present, the faster it will decay. 
As the world decay at the accelerating rate, lower DPS builds will have less total damage necessary to cut through, while higher DPS builds will continue cutting through the world while it decays. The last Epoch team had a lot of feedback about characters feeling like they were moving through Monolith very slow, so they decided to introduce the new Glyph of Envy with patch 1.1. With this item, you can speed up your journey through unfinished normal timelines and dramatically increase the stability of completed timelines. By upgrading an affix using a Glyph of Envy, it will have two effects, one on the item itself and a second effect on your most recent accessed timeline. Glyphs of Envy can only be found within level 100 zones and drop most commonly from rare enemies and harbingers. We'll have also a new item coming in the Harbingers of Rune to further assist with the pushing corruption. This item is very unique, in that it's the first consumable equipment item. We are talking about Harbingers Needle. If this unique item is equipped in your idle inventory when you kill any timeline boss above 90 corruption, you will gain 3 additional Gaze of Orobis for that timeline. Upon granting the additional Gaze of Orobis, the item is destroyed. This allow you to quick build large corruption boosts. Last but not least, patch 1.1 will provide 30 new unique items to be found and build around. Most of these will be able to be found through a terror. Through a select few can be only found through the new bosses. On the screen there are few examples. In a few weeks there will be news about the new cycle and I will keep you updated. Please remember to leave a comment, like and subscribe the channel and see you in the next video traveler.